Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is the last part in this series. Make sure to go through part 1 if you haven't watched it. In the edit mode, click on this arrow, go to face orientation. As I said before, every single edge, vertex and face has a normal direction. The normals are very important for modeling, game engines and so on. So keep that in mind, we need to turn all those faces to blue. Game Engines and Quixel Mixer cannot see those back faces. To do that, Ctrl A to select all, Shift N to recalculate your normal. Now we need to export the mesh into Quixel Mixer. Go to File, Export, FBX. I want to save this file quickly on the desktop. Very important thing to select the Activate Selected Object. Before you do that, make sure to select the object in the viewport first. Then click on Export FBX. Right now, go ahead and open Quixel Mixer. Click on New Mix to add a new material. You can also rename the object and select the resolution that you want. I stay with 2048 and this is our viewport in Quixel Mixer. Hold Alt, mouse left click to rotate around the object. The middle mouse button to go left and right, up and down. Scroll the mouse wheel up and down to zoom. Now we need to import the FBX file into the viewboard. Go to setup and change the type to custom mesh. We need to select the FBX and click on open. Watch out! Right now we can see through this area because Quixel Mixer cannot see the back faces. Also you can change the studio light from here. Hold shift, mouse right click and go left or right. In this way you can change the light direction. If you click on layer, you can see all those maps like normals, displacement, ambient inclusion, etc. In this series, we focus only on the normal map. Click on this arrow, load and open the normal map that we made it before in Blender. And now we are ready to go. As I said before, we can add an ambient inclusion map, roughness map, etc. In this series, we stay by the normal map only. We can also add a solid layer from here. When you add a solid layer, all those maps come automatic with it. We don't need all those maps, we need the albedo map only. Click here and now we can pick a color and then click on apply. Mouse right click, duplicate layer. And one more time, click here, pick a new color and click on apply. How to customize the texture, mouse right click and choose add mask. When this mask is selected, click here and choose position gradient. You can flip the gradient, also you can play with the range. Duplicate the layer again, mouse right click, duplicate layer. Select this mask and hit delete on the keyboard. As we did it before, we need to change the color. And now when you are happy with the color, mouse right click and choose a new mask. Click on this icon again and this time choose curvature. Hit 9 on the keyboard to see the effect. As you see, I play with the options to get a new result. Guys, it's a powerful way to stylize your mesh. That's why I like to use Quixel Mixer a lot. One on the keyboard to see the texture again. Play with the options to get the result that you're looking for. Duplicate the layer again, remove the mask, add a new color and add a new mask. Click on this icon again and choose map. You can upload a picture directly from your computer or click on custom image and choose library asset.
and as you see you have many textures to use Bake any texture that you want and hit 9 on the keyboard again to see the effect and the same thing you have the control on the right side hit 1 on the keyboard to see the texture again If you click on this icon, you can paint direct on the surface. And this is crazy because you can paint the albedo map, roughness map, normal map, etc. In this area, you can find all the brushes that you use by default. Also, you can hit space to move all the tools away. Space again to go to default. You can control the size of this brush, the angle, and so many options. Important is this area you can paint albedo, roughness, and displacement on the surface direct. I will show you something. Pick the black color to make the roughness. Draw on the surface as you want, and bam, here we go. Ctrl Z to undo that. Select the displacement only, choose the direction that you want, in or out, and here we go. 5 on the keyboard to see the normal map effect. 1 on the keyboard again. Also, you can draw on the surface with the albedo map. Pick a new color. You can use the default brushes or download a new one. Go to online. Type brush. Select this one, an example, and click on download. Back to viewboard and you should find the brush in this area. You have to play with those options to customize your brush. When you are happy with the final result, go to export. You can also rename the object, choose the new location, etc. When you click on export, you will export 7 maps. Uncheck the maps that you don't want or upload all of them. It's up to you. Go to Blender again, split a new window. Shift A, Mesh Plane, S to Scale. I want to make a studio to render the scene. Select this edge, E to Extrude. Select this one, Ctrl B. Scroll the mouse up and down to make the curve smoother. Click on the material icon, add a new material and a new color. I like to make the render view on the top right there. From here, go to the shader editor, click on add, texture, image texture. You can duplicate the texture with shift D. Click on open and choose the albedo map. Connect the color to the base color. We need to add a color ramp for the roughness map, shift A, converter, color ramp. Connect the color to the factor and the color to the roughness. Click on open and choose the roughness map. Change the color space to non-color. The last map that we add is the specular map. Shift D to duplicate, click on this folder and choose the specular map. Shift D to duplicate the color RAM, connect the color to the vector and the vector to the specular. 
the color space to non-color. Set your camera F12 to render the scene. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed with this tutorial series. Give the thumbs up if you found this tutorial series useful. Share the video with your friends if you like and peace out.